We're going to learn how to resolve augmented six chords, and let's first begin in the key of E minor. Recall that all augmented six chords contain scale degrees sharp four and flat six. They also share scale degree one, but that isn't important right now. In the key of E minor, sharp four is A sharp, and flat six is a note C. Now remember that flat six is typically in the bass, and that there's no need to add an accidental to scale degree six because we're in a minor key. If we were in a major key, we would need to lower scale degree six by a half step using an accidental. Now all augmented six chords resolve in this way. Flat six will move down by half step, sharp four will move up by half step, and they will form a perfect octave on scale degree five, in this case on the pitch B. They all resolve in this way. Augmented six chords are also predominant chords. They move to either five or to one, six, four. And as displayed, you can see their, their different scale degrees. Scale degree five is present in both of these chords. But in the five chord, we still have scale degrees two and sharp seven. And in the one, six, four chord, we still have scale degrees one and three. So let's look how, at how the other pitches move in this case. In an Italian augmented six chord, we have two scale degree ones, we have two tonics. So let's move to a five chord. Well, they simply need to move by step, moving up and moving down. Let's not forget our leading tone, to raise our leading tone in a minor key. And then in the case of a one, six, four chord, the furthest one of the pitches moves is skipping a third and the other one maintains a common tone. Again, in the French augmented six chord, it's not too much different. They have scale degrees one and two. So to move to a five chord, there's very little motion involved. Again, remember to raise that leading tone in a minor key. Scale degree two is a common tone between those two chords. And then moving to a one, six, four chord, while moving to scale degrees one and three, it's pretty much just as smooth. Now let's look at the case of the German augmented six chord. We have scale degrees one and flat three. And in a minor key, no need to add an accidental to scale degree three. Now, moving to a one, six, four chord is very simple. We just have common tones. They don't even need to move, especially because it's in a minor key. But moving to a five chord is a little bit more problematic because although scale degree one can move to sharp seven, scale degree flat three moves to scale degree two, and we create parallel fifths between the bass in that voice. Therefore, German augmented six chords do not typically move to a five chord, but rather they move to a one six chord, a one six four chord first, a cadential six four, before moving to the five chord. Now let's look at a German augmented six chord, moving to a one six four chord in a major key. Okay, we're still in E minor right now. Let's review that quickly. We have scale degrees one and flat three, and our one, six, four chord also has one and flat three. That, that three in this case is, is still lowered because we're in a minor key. So we just have common tones and the pitches don't even need to move. And therefore the resolution is very simple and straightforward in this case. But if we were in the key of E major and we bring in the E major key signature, there are a few changes we need to be aware of. Recall, your flat six needs to be lowered in this case. We need to lower the flat three scale degree in the German augmented six chord, but our one six four chord still has a raised third scale degree. And this motion here makes this resolution a bit tricky. If your instructor allows this motion, what you as a student need to remember is to is that the accidentals are appropriate for the music and sometimes you need to raise that third scale degree in your 164 chord but some theorists and some teachers don't like this motion to happen because from G natural to G sharp is a melodic motion of an augmented unison and as a result they don't like spelling the German augmented 6 chord with a flat 3 but instead they'll spell it as sharp 2 and these are enharmonically identical, but it will prevent this melodic motion. 
And if we were to spell it that way, that G moves down to F. This is a scale degree two, which is F sharp, but to raise that scale degree two, we need to raise it again. So it's F double sharp in this particular case. So if we were to spell the German augmented six chord in this way, F double sharp would move to G sharp and we would avoid the motion of an augmented unison.